In this video, I'm going to go over the solutions to numbers 12 through 14 right off your unit one test review. In these questions, we move to problems that have a variable on both sides of the equal sign. So it might be helpful again to refer back to the six steps for solving equations to kind of be a checklist as we solve these problems. I'm going to start by just drawing my line through the equal sign. There's no distributive property since there's no parentheses, so I'm moving on to step two, which is simplifying each side of the equation by combining like terms. Well, on this side, we have a constant and a 5x, and on this side, we have a constant and a negative 4x. So on each side of the equal sign, there are no like terms. But if I move on to step three, I can move all the variables to one side. Now notice over here, I have a positive 5x. So if I want to move that to the other side, I would have to minus 5x on each side. So we'd do negative 4x minus 5x. Or my other option would be to move this minus 4x to the other side. And we move a negative 4x to the other side by adding 4x. Well, that's a little bit easier because if we do add 4x, that keeps our variables positive when we move it around. Because now I have negative 12 plus 9x equals 15. And now we've just completed step three, moved all the variables to the same side. So we can go on to step four, move the constants to the other. Let's move that negative 12 to the other side by adding 12. That way it'll zero out on this side, leaving 9x alone equals 27. And then we'll finish it up by dividing by the nine to get x equals 3. And then we can always double check our answer if we want to. Remember, the check is optional, but it's a good idea to do that. Just a reminder, if you decide to do the check, you just go back to the original equation and you replace the x or the, the variable with the answer that you got. So I got 3 for x, so I'm going to put a 3 here and I'm going to put a 3 there. And I always put my variable in parentheses. Then I can even just type this whole thing into my calculator and my calculator will do it for me. Or if I want to do it by hand, that's negative 12 plus 15. And then on this side, it'd be 15. 4 times 3 is 12, so 15 minus 12. Well, that's negative 12 plus 15 is 3, and 15 minus 12 is 3. So 3 equal 3 passes our check, meaning we got the answer right. For question number 13, we also have a problem with variables on both sides, but this problem involves the distributive property. So uh, there's distributive actually on both sides. So let's start on the left side here. Distributive property, we take the number outside the parentheses and we multiply everything inside the parentheses by that number. So I'm gonna do three times x, which is three x, and three times four, which is 12, so plus 12. And then over here, we can distribute the two. Two times two x is four x, and two times a positive five is plus 10. And then I have that minus x on the end. So we just completed the distributive property. Let's check for like terms. Well, notice on the right side, I have a four x and I have a minus x. Now minus x is like a minus one x. So when we take four x minus one x, we get three x. Okay. so. From there, we combined like terms. Now it's time to get all the variables to one side. So to get the 3x to the other side, we have to do the opposite of positive 3x, which is negative 3x. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. That way it'll cancel out on this side, leaving me 12. And, ooh, it actually cancels over here too, because 3x minus 3x is 0. So I have 12 equals 10, which we all know 12 equals 10 is false. If our variables disappear and we get a false statement, that means that this equation is never true for any value of the variable. So we say that the equation has no solution. See example four in your 1.4 notes for more examples of the special cases. An equation can have either no solutions, infinitely many solutions, or most commonly, it will have one solution. For question 14, it's kind of similar to 
Number 13, we have a distributive property over here. So I'm going to start with 5 times Q, which is 5Q. 5 times 3 is 15. The other side, I'm keeping the same. Now, there are no like terms on either side of the equal sign. So let's start by moving all the variables to one side. We have two options. I can move the 3Q over here, or I can move the 5Q over to the left side. Either of those variables is positive, so we need to subtract it in order to get it to move to the other side. So it's definitely easier if we subtract 3Q on each side, because that way 5 minus 3 stays as a positive number, so that's 2Q. And now we can, since we have all the variables to one side, we'll get all the constants to the other. So I'm going to move that plus 15 by subtracting 15 on each side. And that's going to be careful here. That's not 0. A negative 15 minus 15 is negative 30. Use your calculator if you need help with that. And that's equal to 2Q. So my final step here is just going to be to divide by 2 to undo that number in front of the Q. And when we do that, we get negative 15. So Q equal negative 15 is our final answer.